How to fix there's a billing problem with a previous purchase on iPhone? Welcome to another iPhone tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different steps that'll fix an error on your iPhone that says billing problem with previous purchase or verification required. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So most likely if you got the error, there's a billing problem with your previous purchase, it's because the payment method you have on file for your Apple ID has expired or you need to update it. And to do that, all we need to do is open up the settings on our iPhone. Then in the settings, select your name at the very top that says Apple ID. Once in here, select payments and shipping. Now, once we're in here, you can select your current payment method. Make sure that that's updated, that your credit card hasn't expired, something like that. You can also add an additional payment method if you want to by selecting add payment method. So once you've gone in here, make sure your credit card or debit card hasn't expired and that your payment method should be working correctly. Select the back button to go back to the Apple ID screen and then select subscriptions. From here, you just want to look and see if any subscriptions are showing that they have not been paid or any errors for these subscriptions. If any of them are showing that, select into them and you can complete the purchase there and that should get rid of this error. Another reason you might be experiencing billing problem with previous purchase on your iPhone is because you were using family sharing for your payment method and that has been turned off or there's an issue with your family sharing. So if the person in charge of your family sharing on your iPhone, maybe their payment method expired, that could be causing this issue. And we can check that by first opening the settings on our iPhone, selecting our Apple ID at the top one more time, then just select family sharing. Once in here, we can select purchase sharing at the bottom and you can see the shared payment method. And then you can also make sure that family sharing is actually turned on. So if this has been turned off, you'll see that here. And you can talk to the person in charge of family sharing for your Apple ID and they can fix this issue for you. All right, so that's how you fix there's a billing problem with a previous purchase on iPhone. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more iPhone tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gauging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.